What's going on, YouTube? Um, so I'm going to be making a uh, Super Mario Run video, um, and this is kind of be the gonna be the walkthrough of World One, Level One, World One Dash One. You know, um, so I'm here on my iPad, and uh, let's get into it. So she's gonna go ahead and tap OK. You need to go to Tour, um, and the first level. So just a little bit of an uh, information thing, uh, you, you do have to buy the full game for $10, um, but you can get this free, the free first three level, you can get the first three levels for free. Alright, so the first purple coin is right there, just gonna go ahead and grab that. <clears throat> um, and then the second purple coin right there got the uh, slide feature in the game here's the third or I'm sorry these are pink coins um, get all of those so yeah I'm basically going to be showing you how to make the most of uh, the levels oh, I think I missed a purple coin right there uh, my bad yeah I'm pretty sure that was the last purple coin oh no right here there we go alright so that's all I, I keep saying purple I mean to say pink um, and then, you know, you can try and get the flag. Um, but that is the, all of the pink coin locations. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, um, so, sorry if there's a little bit of background noise. Um, alright, so... If you get um a cert if you get all of a certain color coin, you get these things called rally tickets, which help you get toads, which help you rebuild your empire that Bowser destroyed. And I forgot to mention, for the intro, it's you know a classical Mario intro. Peach wants Mario to come to the castle. Mario does a little roll in, two fist pumps, then Bowser flies in and goes and destroys the castle. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to go and get the purple coins. So the purple coins, it, it gets progressively harder. You can see that there is no pink coin right there or right there. Oh, oh, I missed that. Okay. Hold on one second. I am sorry. I should have gotten the. Uh, uh, for some of the purple coins, you have you have to be big. I kind of forgot about that. There we go. Um, I could not get that while I was. Mini Mario. Um, let's see. There we go. A second purple coin. Um, oh, wait. I believe the next purple coin is down here. Oh, okay. There we go. And then vault over to that. Spin move. So this is the hard one. Oh, no. Okay, yep. Can't get it now. Okay. They, oh, no, I can't. Alright. Um, be careful for things like that with Goombas and all that. Oh, poop. Um, bam. Alright, so that's all of the purple coin locations. And, you know, you know I mean, I could have done better. Ooh, just touched the heater. I could have done better, um, but... Alright, by better I mean gotten higher. Alright, so that is the purple coin location. Skip. Um oh and so when you see enemies defeated, um what it's actually doing is so it's every, every time you get a certain amount, you you could say rank up in a way you are able you get more coins for destroying an enemy every time all right so now that we've done that we're on to the green or black coin locations sorry if there was a, a bit of a skip there i took me a couple tries to get these uh, green coin locations i didn't want this video to be too long so i just cut the video um all right so got the first one 
And now we gotta get the second one, which is coming up here right now. Oh, what? What did I? I jumped right at the last second. And I messed up again. There's that one. Alright, so now I basically gotta have a flawless performance, otherwise I will not get it. Thank you. There's an extra redo, that's nice. Oh no. Okay, there. Oh yes, okay, I got all the coins. Um. Yes, and I hit the top of the pole. So, alright, that was the flawless run. Alright, so that is all of the um, pink, purple, and green coin locations for World 1-1. One, one. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more, uh, one more thing. So there, I have six rally tickets, as you can see, because I did it six times. Um, if we go back to the base, um, I already have... So th it's just telling you about the Toad Rally. I already have that, so now I have 11 Toad Rally tickets, and I can go to the Rally. So, um, if I go ahead and do that, you can see Toadette is the judge, and you're basically competing against other players. I have to play this guy. This is the first one you have to play, so I'll just kind of go ahead and show you how this works. So... It's going to bring you to kind of a competitive um, toad rally course. And you're going to be uh, judged based off of how many coins you get and how many toads show up. So you want to get coin rushes um, and you want to get style. So if we go ahead and do this, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and grab this big or the uh, mushroom. And then just try and get all the coins you can, get some style get ahead of the other guy, that's pretty important. Um, there you see I got a coin rush, so that means everything will be worth more. Boom. You just get tons of coins and it goes completely crazy. Shower coins. The only, my only criticism about this is it does not actually give you any coins. Um, it does give you toads, which help you rebuild your Empire thingamajig. So that is helpful. Um, boom, boom, boom. Take that. Come on, give me a mushroom. Oh, I missed that thing. Okay, um, gotta do this carefully now since I am, um, not big. Alright. We seem to be faring pretty well. Um,. Usually you win, you win against the Nintendo guy. Um, I mean, personally, I don't think you can lose. <clears throat> and then it'll kind of just rally up um, how many toads you collected. And as you can see, it'll start increasing. Uh, basi basically... Whoever's winning will go up faster. Sometimes, oh, I, I've had some close ones where it goes back and forth a lot. And it's very nerve-wracking because you will lose toads if you lose, which is not good. You do not want that. Um, and I am the winner. So, there we go. So, the, to the toads that cheer for you decide to join your kingdom. So, that's plus 28. Perfect. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my kingdom. And then it's just going to kind of tell you about the building aspect of the game, how you build back your kingdom. And here is a level up. So that means my tent levels up. Once you get to level 4, that actually changes into a mini castle, and it's uh, pretty cool. So if I go to build, then I go to shop. I can buy stuff, so it always wants you to buy this um, game house. 
and I am going to put it right here. Um, so it wants me to do the bonus thing. I'm not going to do that right now. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I'll do the bonus house in the next video. So, um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, and I will have more tutorials coming in the future. Probably, actually, will be uploaded around the same time for World 1, 2, and 1, 3. Until I build the, buy the full game, um, I don't know, I'll probably buy it tonight, I don't know. But, um, see you next video.